the Phillies bullpen hang on to win it today this afternoon. We win three straight series as we take this one from the Cardinals. It sucks. Last night sucks. We could have totally swept them, but you got to take what we got. We get another win in another series, and that is three consecutively. We win four to three. Our bullpen comes in and plays well. They don't give up the game today. It's, it's awesome to see. It's kind of relieving. Let's dissect how this one goes. Jake Arietta on the mound for the good guys today. He goes six innings, allows four hits, three earned runs, two walks, five strikeouts, a decent outing, enough to get the job done. Let's talk about the scoring. In the bottom of the first, Carlos Santana gets a sacrifice fly, which scores... Reese Hoskins, and that gives us a one to nothing lead. Another game where we are scoring early and getting on the board early. Top of the second, Molina rocks. Jake Arietta, one to one, they tie the game. And you got to remember, Molina on the Cardinals, obviously. Arietta coming from the Cubs. There is that rivalry. They saw each other many times before. Bottom of the fourth, Cesar Hernandez scores. With a home run. That is a two-run shot. Three to one. We are up two. Top of the six. Molina hits another one. That is a two-run shot to tie the ball game up. Molina crushes us today with two home runs. Bottom of the seventh. Oh, double Herrera, baby, with a moonshot. A solo home run. Four to three. That would be the final amazing amazing in the bottom of the third we actually had an opportunity with the bases juiced one out just like last night in the fourth inning we had bases juiced one out and couldn't score any runs but one which was walked in we couldn't even do that today scott kingery with a strikeout nick williams on the first pitch blooper to shortstop we didn't score runs that is a situation where i kept in my mind put a little star all right fellas if we don't get this done here was a situation where we should have took an advantage and gotten more runs, which still is the case. That should have happened. Bottom of the six, we leave more guys in scoring position. Jorge Alfaro, after a nice double, left on second base. In the top of the seventh, this is when Austin Davis comes in for the Phillies, his MLB debut. He gets a strikeout looking solid. Love to see that. Ramos then comes in. He gets a huge strikeout with two men on. You love to see that. And in the eighth inning, he gets two outs that were huge as well with two men on again. Top of the ninth, we put in Arana with one out. He strikes out a batter on the corner. But the blue decides to say it was outside and low, I guess. I don't know how that's possible. Are you blind? The next, ba uh, the same batter rocks one off the wall in center field. That was this close to going out. I mean, we all thought it was going out with our luck. But that's a double. We bring in Adam Morgan. He comes in. He gets a nice out. And then for the last one, ground out to Scott Kingery. Does a little bobble. Gets it over to first. And we win this ball game. Odubel Herrera now has a four-game home run streak. Really finding his batting again. Reese Hoskins, two for three. He had a run, scored, and a walk. But back to Odubel. He had a single, a double, and a home run. Three for four on the day. He was the player of the game. He was one hit shy of a cycle, although I didn't want to see it because at that point it was the seventh when he got that home run. And if he was up to bat again, that either meant we were going a little bit deeper or the Phillies hit around. But let's be real with this squad, it was probably them going a little deeper. So, Reese Hoskins and Oduble were the top guns today. Scott Kingery also got a hit. Nick Williams playing after he broke his nose from a ball hitting off the wall and hitting him in the face, and he couldn't play last night, but he is there today. The, the positive out of this one, listen, we get a W with our bullpen. Uh, our bullpen has been so bad lately. Maybe this builds a little bit of confidence. We have a huge series coming up, but we take a... A series, and that's three in a row, and, and you can't not be excited about that. I, I'm trying my best. I'm trying my best. 39-33 and 33 is the record for the fight in Phils right now. It could be a lot worse, right, Broads? It could be a lot worse. I have to keep reminding myself that. Let's move forward. Washington Nationals. Can it get any bigger than that? Let's go. Let's see what this team is made of. You saw Gabe Kapler after one of those outs. It was the second out in the ninth inning. That was a pop-up 
Mike Alfranco got it in foul territory. He gives the fist pump. You know how much he wants this one. Because he, I'm sure he can feel the little heat on the back. You know what I'm saying? So he was showing emotion to us, which I haven't seen before at a game. I saw one time when he got into an umpire's face for a bad call. That's it. This was the most emotion I've seen since then. So I applaud you, Phillies. Phenomenal job today. Let's see what we got. Let's keep rolling. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.